Hi there, today we're unboxing a Netgear Orbi. So details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Let's just take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes in a nicely packaged box, some branding there, so Orbi trademark and Netgear there. If I come around here, got a picture of the actual device, better Wi-Fi everywhere, whole home Wi-Fi system, tri-band Wi-Fi. Coverage is up to 4,500 square feet. So the whole idea of buying a system like this is if you suffer from poor Wi-Fi performance in your property and you wanted a simple system to cover the whole area. Now the advantage of this is your standard device, so if you had your router in one location, it would have a name for the Wi-Fi. Now, if you purchased an extender, say placed it in another location in your property, now the two Wi-Fi's would have separate names. So the advantage of this is it provides what you call a mesh network. One satellite device connects to the other devices and that creates your mesh network. And the advantage of that is you've not got these different names for Wi-Fi. You've just got a single name and as you go around your property, it will just connect to the different devices and give you good coverage and fast performance on there. Okay, so let's spin it around. Just got all beyond there. If you come down here, a picture and this is the example. So you'd have the Orbi router in one location and the two Orbi satellites in different locations, giving a whole coverage of your property. Now, some details here, fast link technology, your home and yard covered, manage your kids' screen time, one Wi-Fi network, simple and secure. Okay, if I come round, got Orbi on there again. And if I come round here, I've got some details here. So if I zoom in, if you wanna have a look, so basic details there on there. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So you get a quick start guide and not too complex, just a few pages on there describing how to set this up and the contents and the different items on the actual back of the devices. Okay, next you've got a sheet of paper and this is the different compliance directives they've adhered to with the Wi-Fi system and it's multi-language on there. Okay, next you've got a Netgear device safety and software update information sheet. So all in English, got some details on there and English on the other side as well. Okay. Next, you've got an ethernet cable. So a flat cable, I've measured the length on this already and it's 1.8 meters in length and feels of good quality and I like the fact it's a flat cable. Okay, next you've got three power adapters for each of the devices and the length of the cable is 1.7 meters and if I come in there close, you can see the output is 12 volts, 1.5 amps and it's a DC connector on there. Okay, then you've got the actual three devices. So this is the actual router device. And if I come around here, you've got some vents at the bottom, some details there. They actually had a bit of plastic on there, giving the actual name of the Wi-Fi on there. Okay, so if I come in close here, you can see there's a sync button, an internet button. So you'd have a cable going from your router into there. Then you've got an ethernet port there power button just here and the connection point for your DC power supply and a reset button here so a little pinhole so you can just reset the device some vents there and all clear on the rest of it just a matte finish going the way around okay and size wise underneath you've got six centimeters 14 across here and 17 there so reasonable size to it is quite large, I have to admit. Now, the blue on the top indicates this is the main one that your internet gets connected to. Now, if we look at one of the others, so these are the satellite ones, and if I come round, same design on there, as you can see, the only difference is you've got two ethernet ports on there and no internet port. So your internet obviously just goes into that one and it's quite blatant, obviously, color on the top and you've got internet on there. Okay, similar thing here, you've got sync button, two ethernet, power and DC point there for powering it and a reset pin. And again, the other ones exactly the same. 
Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. So very straightforward. So we want to plug in all three devices. So got the plugs here, so let me quickly plug them in. Okay, and in this one with the blue top, you just plug in a link to your router where it says internet. So I've got a cable here. Let me just plug that in. It's as simple as that for the first part. Okay, so let's make a start at setting this up. So if I open up the instructions, it gives you a QR code for the actual Orbi app, or it says you can search the Play Store for Netgear Orbi. So I've got my Android phone here. If I click on Play Store, and we click here, and we type in Netgear Orbi, and it's this one here. So let me click Install and give it a moment. Okay, so the app's installed, so let me click open. Okay, terms and conditions, let's click I agree. Okay, auto, Wi-Fi auto connect using location services, we can allow that. Okay, login or create a Netgear account to get started. So let's click get started. And let me create an account offline. Okay, so I've registered my account and gone through the process and this is what I'm presented with. Do you need to install a new router? So let's click yes to that. Okay, so next I need to scan in the QR code so that's just underneath the actual Orbi. So let me do that off camera as well. Okay, so now it's saying reboot your modem. So it says unplug your internet modem, remove and reinsert any backup batteries, plug your modem back in and wait for it to power on. Okay, and next, let's click next. Okay, connect your Orbi. Use the provided Ethernet cable to connect your modem to your Orbi uh, router's internet port, then connect your router to a power source. Okay, we've done all that, and I've turned it on at the back as well already. Let's click Next. Okay, so it says place your satellites in a location that are within your router's Wi-Fi range, then connect your satellites to a power source. Okay, so we'll just do it next to these. So let me turn it on. So it should all be on now. And if we look at the back, there's a green light just underneath the power that's on. Okay, and you can see a light coming on on the devices as well. So let's click next. Wait while your Orbi satellite fully powers on. This might take a few minutes. Okay, so it looks like it's connected to the new Wi-Fi network and my antivirus has just come on, just warning. So it's saying, wait two minutes while we make sure you're, that your mobile device is connected to... Okay, to the Orbi. If this takes more than a few seconds, return to settings. Okay, now it's shooting ahead, checking cables. Cables checked, checking internet and internet's connected. Okay, so it's saying make sure that all satellites are powered on. I've already powered them on. And if you look on the top now, the light looks stable on there. Obviously the colors changed on this. Okay, now gone to blue. Okay, this one's on blue. That one's changed color now to a pinky color and gone to blue as well. So it looks like it's literally there. Okay, so there you go. Detecting satellites, make sure that all satellites are powered on. Two of two satellites found. Continue. Orbi device is now active. Let's personalize your network settings. Let's click next to that. Okay, so you can change the name and the password is just there. Use the same password for admin login. Okay, we can just do that for now. As in, I'm just testing this out. Okay, security questions. See if I can skip that. Okay, need to enter that in. So let me enter that in off camera. Okay, so this is the next thing now. So it's going applying configuration. Please wait while we update. Okay, wait about five minutes while your Orbi checks for new firmware. Okay, so a new version is available of the firmware. So let me click update. And it's saying do not unplug or power off. Okay, reboot your Orbi might take about three minutes. So let's let it update.
Okay, so there you go. Update successful. Your Orbi firmware was successfully updated. Okay, so next, let's click continue. Okay, so this is what we're presented with. Okay, so now the system's set up. Let me go through the options you have available. So coming into the top left-hand corner here, you've got a home button and you've got RBR20 connected locally. So that's your actual Orbi, the main device here. So if I click on that, and it just shows it's connected. Okay, next, if we go to settings, you've got router settings. If I go on there, got some router information just below. And if I scroll down, you can reboot, check for updates, and product registered, it says. Okay, next, internet port, some details there. Let's go back, Wi-Fi settings. So there's the actual Wi-Fi name there, so all be 99 there's a pass, password for it, and then you've got a QR code you could share with others to actually share your Wi-Fi. So if I display that, someone can scan that in and connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, and then below that you've got share Wi-Fi, and then you've got your security method. If I click on that, you can adjust that as well. Okay, and there's a save button below. Let's go back from there. Guest Wi-Fi settings, so you can enable the guest Wi-Fi give it a name, provide a password. What's interesting, you can give it a time period. So you can say you want it to only go on, obviously always, then you've got one hour, five hours, 10 hours, uh, one day, one week. Okay, then you've got security method for that. And that's what that is. Let's go back and obviously a save button below. Next, you've got parental controls. So enable circle. So the Netgear partners with circle with Disney to unlock a new array of families to manage content and time across all devices. With circle app, parents can filter content, limit screen time and set bedtime for every device in your home. Let's turn that on for a second. Go to circle. Okay, so you've got to download this app. So let me cancel out of that for now. So it's an additional add-on to enable parental controls. Okay, next let's click on security. Okay, so Netgear Armor, stay connected and protected and activate trial. Okay, taking a while. It's obviously doing it off my account and the actual Wi-Fi router as well. So there you go, successfully activated. And there you go, expires in a month. Looking at that, okay. Let's launch the Armour portal. Just have a brief look. No devices associated with this router. Okay, if you click there. My subscriptions. Okay, maybe it just takes a while for it to come through. Let's go back. Okay, next we've got remote management. So you can enable remote management of the device or turn it off as well. Let's turn it off for now. Okay, so scrolling down the options, you've got more from Netgear. Add satellites. So obviously you've got two satellites here. You can add more to your system. New setup. So if you've got another Orbi to set up, that's when you'd click on that. Then you've got a support button here about account management. So that's the account you've logged in with. Shows the account the device is linked to. Okay, scrolling down, you've got add-ons. Taking a while, and there you go. You've got pro support. Let's go back from there. And then you've got log out and reboot. So you can remotely reboot it as well if you wanted to. Okay, so coming back to this interface in the top right hand corner, you've got notifications and there's no notifications at the moment. Coming down, it shows obviously the internet is online and there's two satellites as part of this setup. And if we go down, you've got device manager. So one device found and that's my phone connected to the actual system. So it shows what's connected to it. Going back, you've got internet speed. If I click on that, you can have a test of the internet speed on this. So if I click test speed, 
give it a moment so it shows both upload and download so it does the upload first as you can see okay so the test has completed and we're getting a download speed of 113.08 megabits per second and an upload speed of 6.02 megabits per second okay and if i click on history you can see the history of tests you've done previously let's go back from there parental controls okay you can turn it on from here and okay it's asking to rate the experience i'll say never show this again security already activated that one you've got a network map and it shows obviously your internet to your router shows what's connected to that no devices connected to that satellite and no devices collected to that satellite details wise this is what you see on there okay so you see connection type hardware type hardware version firmware version mac address and ip address okay let's go back back again okay then you've got wi-fi settings so we've already been in there for the other options so this is where you can share the qr code for other people to connect to it guess wi-fi you can access it from here uh, and traffic meter that's interest one if i turn that on you can see the actual data being transferred so you can see the total and average for the days okay and that's all you have here so there you go pretty straightforward to set up and configure not too much hassle in any way just time wise just takes a while to set up okay so next let's enable parental controls so if i click on parental controls go here to enable go to circle and let's install it so we'll click OK and click install and let's give it a moment to install okay so circle with Disney scene is installed let's click open okay over the next few minutes we'll set up your account then get your family set up so need to register an account so let me do that off camera okay so I finished creating an account and this is what you're presented with so congratulations you're all done creating your circle account next you'll choose which circle subscriptions you'd like Let's click awesome ah okay that's interesting so premium you've got to pay $4.99 a month or $49.99 dollars a year so let's go to basic basic is free and there's a filter content by age and category pause so press pause on the internet and keep up with which sites get visited okay try basic don't really want to pay anything more for this and basic it is let's go okay add a profile let's just type in geek street and we'll click done filter level uh, okay so this is how it's defined so if I put none for now and just click save okay assign devices so these are the devices it's got on the network so Netgear device you've got the actual router so the Orbi and my device so you can assign that profile to a particular device so that's interesting that's how it works so if I just click on mine which is a Samsung device click done you can edit this profile after setup is complete oh, okay that's it as simple as that and that's how you'd add people to this so unmanaged device let's go back okay you can add another so you can add another profile so I can say test one click done with that you could say kid and the platforms okay so interesting these are the platforms that are allowed if I just did YouTube not allowed okay unmanaged and allowed so YouTube restricted click on safe search off okay and I can click save I can say my device again 
Uh, simple as that. If I say I'm finished, unmanaged devices, select all your network gear and smart home devices to be unmanaged, otherwise circle might affect your access to these devices. Okay, so this one, this one, let's click. Uh, okay, so next, your home profile. Next, we'll set up a home profile. Devices that are used by whole family or more than one person go here. Okay, so that's a um, bit different. So this is a situation where you've got a tablet, for instance, and everyone uses it. So if I click OK to that, okay, and I'll just click Teen. And again, the different platforms, you can see if they're allowed or not. And the different categories, same as before. That's it. Your circuit is all set up and ready to go. Let's go. There you go. Simple as that. So this is your circle home screen. Cool. The pause button, tap the button causes, pauses every device in your entire home. Premium features. Okay, so you have to pay for those. Cool to that. This is your family. Triangle tap on profiles. Okay, so this is the test profile I created. And there you go. Let's keep going through this. Lots of details behind there, so I can click on devices. There's my Samsung device. History. There you go, that's what's been going on. That's quite interesting actually. So, and can I remove it? Ah, yeah, delete user. Delete it. There's the main one, the Geek Street one. Click on filter. You can change the filter quite easily on there as well. Devices. I'll just click that one, Samsung device. Okay. And Samsung device is appearing at home. That's why you're getting it not being there. So there you go. Very straightforward, actually, for potential uh, parental controls. Okay, so next, let me go into security because that wasn't appearing straight away before. So let's give it a moment. So launching armor. And there you go. That's what it's appeared with initially. So summary, threats blocked, and it's saying, good job, you're playing safe on the internet. No vulnerability assessment scan performed. See all devices on this router. If I click on that. There you go. Okay, so home smart devices, I can click on there. Mobile devices, obviously my one there. Come across computers, so you can see computers as well. Go back and that's it. That's all you have available in there. So it's just doing a security scan in the background. And if I go here in the corner, this is what you see, and if I click on devices, there you go, install Bitdefender Total Security, it seems. Protect your devices, protect this device, so you can put additional security on the devices to protect them. So, good bit of functionality here. So you've got this additional protection in there, but I'm guessing, because this was on a trial, there must be a subscription with this. So, very slow, I have to admit, navigating around here, not very quick in any way. And there you go, view details. That's all that's remaining. So, 30 days with the different types of security, and they're the devices that's protected. So, you've got antivirus for Mac. Mobile security, Netgear armor, and total security for Windows devices. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show, I've got my laptop here. I've connected an Ethernet cable in one end, and the other end, I'm going to connect into one of the satellite orbies. And just to show, two Ethernet ports on there. So if I plug that in, and if you see on my laptop, I just click on there. You can see it's connected and if I open up a web browser and we just type in YouTube Geek Street 
There you go. Internet connectivity straight off the Orbi. So excellent functionality there. So nothing to really do. The fact it's connected to the main hub and the other satellite through that is created the mesh network and obviously you've got connectivity available. Okay, so next let's do a speed test. So I've got a speed test app installed here. If I click go, let's give it a moment. There you go, there are the speeds we're getting. So download of 95 megabits per second and an upload of 7.27 megabits per second. So performance wise, very good. Okay, so I'm on the ground floor of my property and I've got Wi-Fi analyzer on and at the side you can see the Orbi signals. So varying a little bit, it's approximately about five meters away from where I'm standing now towards the left and if I now start moving up a floor we're actually going to get to the point where the first satellite is and see if there's any difference see you can see the yellow one come up now and if I continue so that satellite is I'd say a few meters away from where I'm standing now so if I go up and continue going up and you can see the next one's coming up and now I'm where the third Orbi is. So there you go, consistent signal throughout three floors. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of the Netgear Orbi. Very simple to set up and configure. I have to admit, very impressed with how easy it was. No messing around. In terms of functionality, really good functionality on there. So you've got parental controls via a third party app. So Circle with Disney. And you've also got security. So if you activate that, it's monitoring the traffic going to devices and you can actually add on additional security onto your devices. Now, in terms of functionality, you've got to note that obviously this is for quite a large property, so it can cover 4,500 square feet. Now, if you had a smaller property, it's difficult to justify this sort of system. I guess the only plus point on this is the extra functionality you get. For instance, the mesh functionality. So, with the mesh, the three devices create what they call a mesh network where they all connect together and what happens that as you're going from different parts to your property say for instance you're initially connected to the router it then flips over to the satellite device and then the third satellite device as you're moving along seamlessly so you're not messing around changing your actual wi-fi connection so if you had an extender that's what you'd probably end up doing so as the signal got weaker you'd probably notice poor performance and then you'd have to drop down and select the closest Wi-Fi network to you, which would probably be the extender if you had that sort of scenario. So that's one of the things to keep in mind. Another thing about this, which I really like, is the fact that all the devices actually have an ethernet point on there. So the satellite ones have two ethernet points and performance on that is really good as well. So this could be a scenario where you had a townhouse, for instance, three levels, one device on each level, and you had wired devices on each level, and they could be plugged in for good performance. And again, Wi-Fi is good on these as well, performance-wise. Now, it does flip between 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi, depending on how close you are to this. So keep that in mind. So if you have devices which struggle, sometimes smart tech can struggle with those sort of things. I've not tried it out with smart tech. So keep that in mind. So smart tech relies on things being on 2.4G and generally they don't work on 5G networks. So you might have to connect that to something different. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.